She thought she could encourage terrible acts against the president and his people and get away with it. Well, Republicans are making her pay the price. It's been open season on conservatives ever since Donald Trump announced he was running for president. The violence first began at Trump's rallies, where his supporters were pelted with eggs, screamed at and punched. The liberal media dismissed these occurrences not even reporting them in most cases. This subtle acceptance of these violent tactics has only emboldened the far left to become even more violent. Republican congressmen are being threatened with death. They are being shot at while practicing baseball and being tackled while they mow their lawns. Trump's staff are being harassed at restaurants, at movie theaters, and even in their own homes. Instead of calling for an end to the violence, Rep. Maxine Waters of California encouraged liberals to up their attacks on Trump's cabinet members, telling a crowd last month, if you see anybody from that cabinet in a restaurant, in a department store, at a gasoline station, you get out and you create a crowd and you push back on them, and you tell them that they are not welcome, anymore, anywhere. Her words amount to political terrorism and have forced Republican politicians to hire more security. But one group is determined to make Waters answer for her disgusting behavior. From Fox News, the head of a conservative watchdog group said Thursday that Democratic Rep. Maxine Waters is inciting mob violence with her call for protesters to confront Trump officials in public, as he urged a formal ethics investigation on Capitol Hill. When you're out there, inciting mob violence against sitting Trump cabinet members, that doesn't obviously reflect credibly on the House. Judicial Watch President Tom Fitton told Fox and & Friends, and the House has to decide whether they're going to allow its members to use the House as a platform and its power and position to attack and incite violence. Fitton has submitted his request to the House Office of Congressional Ethics for Waters to be investigated, believing her words have definitely inspired more people to attack not just Trump cabinet members but all conservatives. If the committee decides to investigate Waters, she could be subject to internal legislative discipline, as well as criminal charges if she's found guilty of any law-breaking. Given that Waters is inciting a riot by calling for Trump staff to be harassed, it's obvious that she's guilty of wrongdoing. Waters and other Democrats are likely cranking up their hateful rhetoric because they've seen the writing on the wall. Millions of people are walking away from the Democratic Party, and are finally recognizing it for the hate group that it is. They can see that the left is lying and that the economy is improving. All Maxine and other Democrats can do is scream because they know it is already too late.